Hello everybody, Dr. F. Scott Field here, and I'd like to introduce you to our newest sponsor. The NPTE Final Frontier is the review course that I wish was around when I took the board exam. For those of you who know my story, it took me a handful of times to pass that exam, and quite frankly, I really wish I had an, a, an exam review course around, uh, just like the NPTE Final Frontier. Uh, check out their website, npteff.com, and use the code HET at checkout for 10% off to all of our listeners and fans. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Healthcare Education Transformation Podcast. I am your host, Dr. Dawn Brown, and I am bringing you another Teach Me Something Tuesday. Today, we are going to talk about the value of a good syllabus. Question, how many of you students read the syllabus for each one of your courses in their entirety. I'm guessing not many of you. You probably read the part about when and where the course is offered, then you skip down to the required textbooks and reading, and then you skip down a little bit more to the assignments, and then a little bit more to the due dates of each of these assignments, right? Because we all know that the syllabus in its 10 to 15 page entirety is just way too long. However, I encourage you to change the way you think about your course syllabi. It's a learning contract between you and your course instructor, so why not view the syllabus as a way to get to know your course instructor better and the purpose of the course as it relates to your future as a physical therapist or physical therapist assistant. Read the biographical and content information for your instructor. It shows your instructor's background, their relevant qualifications for teaching the course, and perhaps your instructor included a statement about their commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion, or even their philosophy of teaching. These inclusions add great value to the kind of teaching that you can expect from your course instructor, including how he, she, or they plan to engage you with the course content. Read those learning objectives. These are the statements that show you how the course will be relevant to you as a student and eventual licensed clinician, what you will need to know when the course ends, and what you will be able to do by the conclusion of the course as it relates to patient management and patient care. Pay attention to the course's weekly schedule and the list of topics and associated assignments and quizzes or exams so that you can prepare in advance to maximize your participation during class and productively use the information that you gain. Read the university's policies, especially those related to academic integrity. Those are the statements about the university's guidelines for plagiarism, and academic honesty. Also, review the instructions for obtaining accommodations should you need those. You don't wanna miss these because your university has these services put in place for students who have any special learning needs or disabilities so that you will be able to be successful in your courses. Therefore, you should really care about the content in your course syllabus because it shows how much thought and effort your professor put into the course and it reflects their qualifications to teach the course. The syllabus sets the tone for your interaction, not only with your course instructor, but with your peers. And the syllabus conveys expectations about the course from the quantity and quality of the work that's expected of you and how you're to use the content to advance your knowledge and skill as a physical therapy student. Now, this next part is for students to listen to, but it's more for my fellow professors who are listening to this Teach Me Something Tuesday episode. Please make your syllabi engaging. Spice them up a bit. To pique your students' interest and curiosity in the course, add some quiz questions related to the course syllabus either at the beginning or throughout your course, so that students can only answer them if they read the syllabus in its entirety. Add some images and some pictures to your courses. Most syllabi are already the length of a book chapter, so pictures related to each section in your syllabus can make the content more relevant and digestible. And then set a tone for your syllabus. Be attentive with how you word items in your syllabus to make sure that you convey a friendly and welcoming tone that will encourage your students to communicate with you during the course. 
Students then won't be afraid to ask questions during class or to seek you out during your office hours. A good syllabus is valuable for both students and professors and can make and create a great first impression of a course to make it exciting and to make it enjoyable from the beginning until the end. I hope that this information on the value of a good syllabus was helpful and we will see you on the next Teach Me Something Tuesday.